Uh, my name is Nikki Batty. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in 2010. My motivation mostly comes from my dog, Knight. Um, he keeps me happy when I'm feeling low. He can tell when I'm not feeling well. He'll come up to me and, and then we'll cuddle. And from there, I almost instantly feel better and more motivated to go for a walk with him. Initially, I had actually hid my disease for the longest time. I would just try and battle it. And I kept to myself a lot. I felt very lonely at times too. I would compare myself to my peers a lot, people in my age group who were able and active and I couldn't because the fatigue would be so overwhelming. Almost feels like a hangover that lasts all day. You can't think clearly, you zone out quite a bit. And so I began Googling different things on arthritis. That's where I came across Arthritis Research Canada. They shown me that there's research being done to help better everyone's future who does battle illnesses like mine. When I was diagnosed, I felt very alone. And I felt like no one knew what I was going through. I didn't feel comfortable enough to tell people what I was going through, and so I've met some great individuals who are very, very understanding and some others who weren't as understanding. And again, it's because it's an invisible illness. They don't see it. The fatigue is real. The brain fog is real. The joint pain and all the swelling is real. I have to remind myself that it's okay. Tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow could be different. I would most want to let people know that you're not alone. There are lots of people out there like you. We're here to support you, we're here to guide you. Arthritis Research Canada has helped me see that there is support in which in the beginning stages of my illness, I didn't feel that there was.